Have you ever felt constantly overlooked, even when giving your best? Do you wonder why some people magnetize attention effortlessly, while others struggle in silence? Today we'll unravel nine powerful psychological strategies rooted in Stoic wisdom. Once mastered and put into practice, these techniques have the power to amplify your influence and turn you into a central figure, no matter where you are. Among these tactics, one stands out for its delicacy and impactful strength, a tool that perhaps you're already employing without even realizing it. By looking through the Stoic perspective, you not only gain a deeper understanding of human psychology, but also learn to adjust, in a harmonious manner, the dynamics of your conversations, encounters, and even routine interactions that may seem trivial. I invite you enthusiastically to stay with me until the end of this exploration. Each strategy, each piece of this puzzle, complements the next. Leaving out any of them means missing out on the richness and completeness of the picture they form together. If you share my enthusiasm for personal development, I ask you to take a moment to activate notifications and subscribe. This gesture of commitment is vital because these strategies should be seen as tools for deciphering human behavior and navigating ethically through social complexities. These techniques favor conscious influence, allowing you not only to understand the nuances of the human mind, but also to employ this knowledge to guide your interactions in the world. Are you ready to discover what has been hidden right before your eyes? Imagine for a moment, diving into the deep waters of the human emotional ocean, a journey that transcends age and cultural boundaries, delving deep into the essence of our existence. We live in an era where the emotional whirlwind is as vast as it is unexplored, and only a minority ventures to navigate these waters with skill, understanding, and influencing subtly and decisively the fabric of our human interactions. This ability, my friends, is not just about personal enrichment, but a transformative tool capable of reshaping the landscape of our social relations. Think of emotional mastery as an art. It's not just an intrinsic characteristic, but a dynamic skill that radiates, influencing the threads of our daily interactions. The ability to tune in to others' emotions is a rare gift, a true superpower that allows us to weave bonds of understanding and closeness that are more intense and lasting. By practicing empathy consciously, we become catalysts for change, essential pieces on the board of social life. Let's delve deeper into this journey, exploring the heart of human relationships. By deciphering the enigma of others' emotions, we acquire an invaluable skill, prediction. This anticipation puts us a few steps ahead, offering countless advantages, whether in conflict resolution, building bridges between distant hearts, or cultivating an atmosphere of understanding and peace. Emotional mastery is not just an indication of high emotional intelligence. It's a powerful strategy, a path to enriching our lives and the lives of those around us, promoting an environment where mutual respect and harmony flourish. This ability to navigate emotional currents not only benefits us individually, but also has the potential to radically transform our surroundings. Imagine a world where each of us possesses this refined skill. A world where conflicts fade away in the face of understanding and empathy, where human relationships are strengthened by our ability to deeply understand others. This is the power of emotional mastery, a force that shapes destinies, heals wounds, and unites people transcending the invisible barriers that often separate us. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery and emotional mastery, we open the doors to a universe of endless possibilities. Each step we take on this path not only brings us closer to our truest essence, but also empowers us to be agents of change in the world. The mastery of emotions is therefore more than just a skill. It's a mission 
an invitation for all of us to transform the emotional chaos around us into a symphony of understanding, empathy, and love. How about we embark together on this transformative journey? Furthermore, emotional mastery extends beyond the personal realm, becoming essential in the formation of effective leadership. Leaders with emotional intelligence can inspire and motivate their teams exceptionally, fostering a climate of collaboration and productivity. This ability to manage emotions, not only internally, but also within group dynamics, reflects a higher level of competence and adaptability. Have you ever thought about the strength that lies in maintaining calm, composure and clarity in situations that would make many others lose their balance? Imagine being the anchor amidst chaos. It's not just a figure of speech, but a palpable reality that naturally attracts people seeking direction. By adopting this stance, you elevate yourself to the role of a leader. However, it's essential to understand that such ability goes far beyond simply hiding your feelings. It's about understanding, accepting and directing our emotions productively. Epicurus, despite his differences with Stoicism, agrees on one crucial point. We don't have the power to choose what happens around us, but we have complete autonomy over how we respond to those events. This premise underscores the importance of mastering our reactions, which in turn makes us sources of inspiration and confidence. In addition to being an example of stability, you gain the ability to positively influence the mood of those around you. Imagine for a moment calming someone's anger with thoughtful words or dissipating a friend's sadness with a gesture of affection. You become a beacon of positivity. However, it's worth noting that possessing such ability is not a game, but rather a significant responsibility that must be handled with wisdom and sensitivity. There's a depth to this process that transcends simple peacekeeping. Being able to perceive emotional nuances, identify hidden feelings, and react to them empathetically, naturally, opens people up to you. It's not about manipulation, but about authentic and deep connection with others. Now I ask you, have you experienced this transformation in your life? Have you seen yourself as someone capable of being the stabilizing force in turbulent times? If not yet, why not start practicing this skill today? Remember, personal development is a continuous journey. And by embarking on this path of self-discovery and emotional self-management, you not only enrich your own life, but also become an inspiration to those around you. Each of us has the potential to be an agent of positive change, a true emotional leader. So why not take the first step now? By cultivating serenity, empathy and understanding, you can transform not only your own life experience, but also that of others. Isn't that incredible? Let's embark together on this journey of growth and transformation. Have you ever realized that sometimes the greatest act of courage is simply taking a step back? That's right. The ability to know when to distance ourselves from situations or people is one of the gems of Stoic wisdom, which you may already be practicing without even realizing it. Far from being an escape or a sign of detachment, this gesture is actually a powerful affirmation of self-respect and recognition of our own worth. The decision to leave the table doesn't come from a momentary impulse, but from a deliberate choice, born out of deep reflection on how we value our time and energy. How often do we confuse always being available with an act of generosity, without realizing that by doing so, we may be undervaluing ourselves? Interestingly, this constant availability and unconditional agreement can lead others to take us for granted, seeing us not as valuable beings whose presence and contribution are essential. It's an intriguing paradox, isn't it? By setting clear boundaries and withdrawing when necessary, we're not shutting ourselves off from the world, 
but rather valuing ourselves and teaching others how they should value us. But what does this really mean in everyday life? It means we don't need to feel guilty for saying no when necessary, for choosing to recharge our energies instead of responding to yet another request for help or simply for deciding that certain situations or relationships aren't positively contributing to our personal growth. This practice of conscious detachment not only prevents emotional and physical exhaustion, but also raises the level of respect and appreciation we receive from others. And here's the crucial point. Distancing oneself is not synonymous with indifference, but an act of authenticity. It's deciding with wisdom and discernment where, when, and how to invest our time and energy. This results in healthier relationships where mutual respect and understanding of each other's boundaries prevail. So I invite you to reflect. Are you practicing this stoic wisdom in your life? Are you able to identify the moments when stepping back is the best option to preserve your energy and well-being? Remember, recognizing and respecting your limits is an essential step on the path of self-discovery and personal growth. Let's embark together on this journey of learning to say no as easily as we say yes, transforming our relationships and becoming more whole and authentic people. The self-confidence to step back when necessary demonstrates authenticity and emotional maturity, contributing to more balanced and enduring relationships. Therefore, by embracing the ability to detach with discernment, you not only protect your own vital energy, but also build more resilient and authentic relationships where appreciation is cultivated genuinely. Amazing, isn't it? How the careful application of stoic strategies can not only transform the way we interact with the world, but also how the world responds to us. The key, as we've seen, lies not in manipulation, but in authenticity and integrity. Imagine the impact you can generate by sowing genuine acts of kindness without expecting anything in return. These acts create an invisible network of goodwill, a kind of social capital that not only brings tangible benefits to our lives, but also positions us as natural leaders, people whom others look to for guidance and inspiration. Now think about this. What sets apart an authentic leader from someone merely seeking attention? The answer is simple yet profound. It lies in the sincerity of your actions and the purity of your intentions. When people perceive that you act with genuine generosity, without ulterior motives, they naturally gravitate towards you. This creates a web of support and admiration that is difficult to replicate through any other means. On the other hand, the slightest hint of manipulation can quickly unravel this web, leaving a trail of distrust. So, how can we use our influence to truly make a difference? The answer may lie in the ancient art of storytelling. Even before we could write, we told stories. These stories had the power not only to entertain, but also to teach, to inspire, and to move people to action. And that power hasn't diminished, it has only transformed. Stories have the incredible power to connect people, to transcend barriers, and to touch hearts in ways that logical arguments and cold data often cannot. Why do we remember fairy tales or the stories our grandparents told us so vividly? Because stories resonate with us on an emotional level. They allow us to see the world through someone else's eyes, to feel what they feel, and most importantly, to teach us about who we are. By mastering the art of persuasive storytelling, you gain the ability not only to share information, but also to shape how that information is received and interpreted. You become capable of inspiring change, motivating action, and influencing thought in a profound and lasting way. And the most beautiful part of it all, you do it not through power, but through connection. So I invite you to reflect. What stories do you have to tell? How can you use these stories to inspire, to unite, and to lead? 
Remember, each of us has a unique story, a unique voice, and when we use that voice with authenticity and purpose, the impact we can have is limitless. Let's together explore the power of persuasive storytelling, not just as a communication tool, but as a bridge to understanding, empathy, and true leadership. Epicurus once said that it's not the things themselves that disturb people, but their perceptions of them. It all comes down to how we see. By shaping your messages within a story, you offer a new perspective for others to see and interpret reality, influencing their reactions. The magic of storytelling lies in its ability to engage listeners, making them feel part of the plot, evoking empathy, and making your points resonate on a personal level. Imagine for a moment that you're leading a vibrant team, each member shining with potential, but faced with a project so challenging that even the boldest hesitate. The path ahead is uncertain, filled with obstacles that will test not only their skills, but also their resilience. As a leader, you have a crucial choice to make. How do you inspire this team to embrace the challenge with enthusiasm and determination? Here you're presented with a unique opportunity to go beyond charts and projections. You have the power to transform the project's perception from a daunting task into an exciting adventure. And how do you do that? Through the immeasurable power of stories. Start with the narrative of a group of pioneers, perhaps not so different from your team, who faced nearly insurmountable adversities. These heroes, armed only with their courage and determination, embarked on a journey full of challenges. But instead of retreating, they came together, overcoming each obstacle with tenacity and creativity. Draw parallels between these pioneers and your team. Show them that, just like the heroes of this story, they too possess the strength and ability to turn adversity into triumph. Emphasize that the path may be arduous, yes, but the rewards, both tangible and intangible, such as personal growth and team spirit, are immeasurable. By telling this story, you transform the project into a noble mission. Your team is no longer a group of individuals working on disjointed tasks. They are the protagonists of an epic saga, with each member playing a crucial role in achieving a common goal. However, the key to making this narrative truly resonate with your team is authenticity. Forced or superficial stories can more easily be perceived as manipulative. Therefore, when sharing these stories of triumph, ensure that they are genuine and reflect the values and experiences of your team. Sincerity not only reinforces emotional bonds, but also solidifies everyone's trust and commitment to the project. By using authentic stories of overcoming, you not only change the project's perception, you cultivate an environment where each team member feels vital to the mission's success. What was once seen as a challenge becomes an exciting opportunity for growth and collective triumph. And at the end of the journey, the team not only overcomes the challenge, but emerges as the true heroes of their own inspiring narrative. Remember, the power of stories goes beyond entertainment. They have the power to unite, inspire and motivate. By weaving authentic narratives that resonate with your team's reality, you not only ensure that your message is heard, but also felt and lived. And that, undoubtedly, is the essence of leading with impact and purpose. As we move forward, let's explore even more fundamental principles of human nature. Principles that, once understood and applied, can open doors to opportunities and connections previously unimaginable. Get ready to dive deeper into this journey of discovery and growth. 5. Prioritize yourself. Have you ever wondered what truly makes someone stand out as a magnetic presence in any setting? It's not a matter of looks or the words chosen. It's something much deeper. Something that radiates from within, 
self-esteem. In a world where we constantly seek external validation, we often forget the inherent power that comes from valuing ourselves above all else. This is the true essence of influential power. Think about it. How often do we get lost in the pursuit of recognition, forgetting that the most potent source of influence is our own perception of who we are? The philosopher Marcus Aurelius, a brilliant mind from antiquity, reminds us of a fundamental truth. We have power over our minds, not external events. This ancient wisdom resonates today serving as a powerful reminder that our strength doesn't come from what happens around us, but from how we choose to react and perceive those events. But how do we cultivate this inner strength exactly? How can we become the person who walks into a room and, without saying a word, commands respect and attention? It all starts with self-esteem. Having a deep sense of self-worth means understanding and accepting your inherent value, regardless of others' opinions or approval. This journey to strengthen self-esteem teaches us to focus on what we truly control, our minds and our attitudes. By concentrating on cultivating positive thoughts and perceptions about ourselves, we begin to change not only how we see ourselves, but also how others see us. The self-confidence and authenticity we naturally emanate attract people to us, creating a virtuous cycle of positive influence. Self-esteem, therefore, isn't just about feeling good about yourself. It's a powerful tool of influence. When you truly value yourself, you don't need to constantly seek external approval. You become a beacon of confidence and authenticity, naturally influencing those around you. So I ask you, are you ready to look inward and discover the invaluable power that resides in your own self-esteem? Remember, the path to becoming a magnetic and influential presence begins with valuing yourself. Cultivate your self-esteem and see how the world around you begins to change. It's not a quick process but it's undoubtedly one of the most rewarding journeys you can undertake. As we embark together on this journey of self-discovery and personal growth, remember that each step towards self-empowerment not only lifts your own spirits, but also inspires those around you to do the same. It's a virtuous cycle of positive influence, where true power lies not in what we seek outside, but in the treasure we discover within ourselves. This is the true meaning of influential power. The wise words of Marcus Aurelius remind us of the importance of seeking internal validation, a true gem of wisdom that empowers us to transcend the endless quest for external acceptance. This perspective is not just an echo of ancient teachings. It presents itself as a pragmatic solution to the challenges we face in the modern era, especially in a hyper-connected context that often distracts us with a sea of external influences. Discovering and strengthening inner strength becomes essential for navigating the complexities of this contemporary landscape with skill. By prioritizing the cultivation of our self-esteem, we tread a path that not only solidifies our own essence, but also serves as inspiration for those around us. The true mark of influence is not found in the ability to subjugate, but in the ability to lead by example, exuding an authenticity and confidence that positively shape every interaction in our environment. This way of being does not emanate arrogance, but reflects a profound recognition of one's own worth, strength and potential. This process of self-empowerment initiates a virtuous cycle where, by putting ourselves in the spotlight in our own lives, the world around us almost magically begins to mirror that respect and consideration. In the journey of self-love, it's crucial to understand that the goal is not to isolate oneself or adopt an egocentric stance, but rather to find a harmonious balance. Reciprocity and self-love emerge from a place of authentic introspection and self-respect. 
By investing time and energy in our well-being, learning and health, and by establishing healthy boundaries, we signal to the universe our inherent value. This, in turn, adjusts the perceptions around us, encouraging others to equally value and prioritize us. While self-empowerment is a crucial pillar of influential power, it is only a fragment of a broader spectrum of psychological and behavioral strategies. As we advance to explore other techniques, we encounter the transformative power of active listening, a particularly valuable skill in an era characterized by noise and constant competition for attention. Mastering the art of truly listening is not just an act of generosity. It's a distinctive and effective strategy in a world that craves to be heard. Offering our full attention transcends mere courtesy, positioning itself as a refined tactic for cultivating deeper and more meaningful relationships. Prepare then to embark on the next phase of our journey of personal development, where active listening reveals itself not only as a path to genuine understanding and connection, but also as a powerful means to transform adversity into opportunities for alliance and mutual growth. In a world that seems increasingly divided, this skill stands out as a beacon of hope, guiding us towards richer interactions and more authentic human relationships. The ancient wisdom of Epictetus, advising us to listen more and speak less, resonates deeply in an era dominated by fast and often superficial communication. The art of active listening, contrary to what many may think, transcends mere courtesy. It delves into the nuances of what is communicated, seeking to understand not only the words, but also the emotions and intentions behind them. This enriching practice not only builds bridges of understanding and trust, but also reveals valuable insights about others, promoting an inclusive environment open to dialogue. By dedicating ourselves to genuinely listening, we bestow an invaluable gift, our full attention. This act of generosity creates a space where voices are not only heard, but truly valued. Moreover, it fosters an interconnected community where the authenticity of interactions prevails over superficialities and true understanding is cultivated. Incorporating active listening into our daily lives turns us into agents of positive change, enriching our relationships and fostering deeper and more meaningful dialogue. By adopting this stance, we stand out as beacons of trust and respect in a world full of distractions. We provide a safe haven for people to feel comfortable expressing themselves, gaining a profound understanding of their thoughts and desires and establishing a genuine connection. This ability to authentically listen positions us as guidance and support figures, giving us a remarkable influence in people's lives. Active listening, therefore, goes beyond a kind gesture it becomes a powerful tool for building lasting relationships in a world where true empathy has become a precious commodity. In this context, the perception of scarcity emerges as a powerful force. Just as we value rare objects, the same principle applies to our presence and attention. By being selective with our time and presence, we create a perceived value around us, making each interaction more meaningful. Marco Aurelius reminds us that to live a fulfilling life, we need very little, and that little resides within us, in how we perceive and value our own moments. Scarcity, therefore, is not about denying our presence to others, but about recognizing the value of our time and establishing healthy boundaries. This encourages others to see our time as something to be valued and respected. Finding the right balance is essential. Neither total absence nor excessive availability are desirable. The secret lies in being present when it matters, making those moments unforgettable, and then stepping back to focus on our personal goals. Moreover, cultivating an air of mystery around our persona is not a game of hide and seek, but a recognition of human fascination with the unknown. 
By balancing what we reveal about ourselves, we keep people's curiosity alive, encouraging them to engage with us on a deeper level. This balance of disclosure and retention is not about being inaccessible. It's about consciously choosing which aspects of ourselves to share, keeping the flame of curiosity burning. In summary, active listening, along with a conscious perception of our presence and the art of maintaining a balance between revealing and withholding, turns us into magnetic and influential individuals. These practices not only improve our interpersonal relationships, but also position us as empathetic and respected leaders, capable of making a lasting impact in a world craving authentic and meaningful connections. Have you ever stopped to think about the power that lies in being an enigma to the world around you? Imagine yourself walking a less traveled path where instead of blending into the crowd, you choose to stand out, not by the volume of your voice, but by the depth of your silence. Marco Aurelius, a brilliant mind from antiquity, gifts us with a powerful reflection. The essence of life does not lie in following the herd, but in forging a distinct path, far from the folly that often surrounds us. This concept transcends the simple idea of being different. It invites us to a game of discovery, where each revealed layer of our essence brings with it an invitation to deeper and truer connection. Imagine for a moment the magnetism of a personality shrouded in mystery. It's not just a trick to capture others' attention, it's a complex strategy to build more meaningful relationships. By allowing people to unravel who we are gradually, we not only keep interest alive, but also weave stronger bonds based on mutual curiosity and respect. This game of gradual revelations nurtures curiosity, strengthening our image as unique beings whose understanding requires time and dedication. Now think about the art of keeping silent in a heated debate in the tension of a negotiation or in the simplicity of everyday dialogue, choosing silence can be an unexpected display of power. Instead of being interpreted as passivity, silence can be an active tool, capable of directing conversations, asserting your presence and earning genuine respect. Silence, strategically used, can be a force that guides, shapes and defines the course of our interactions. But like any tool, the use of silence requires skill and discernment. An excess of silence can be misunderstood as disinterest or alienation. The real trick lies in knowing when to speak and when to let silence speak for itself. This dance between words and pauses can radically transform how we are perceived and the impact we have on others. Now I ask you, are you ready to explore the power of mystery and silence in your own life? Imagine the doors these strategies can open, not only in terms of how others see you, but also concerning your own growth and self-awareness. Every moment of silence, every choice to reveal a little more of yourself, is a step in a journey of discovery. It's an invitation for others to join you, an invitation to create authentic and lasting connections. So I invite you to reflect on the art of mystery and silence. How can you incorporate these elements into your life to build deeper and more meaningful relationships? How can you use silence, not as an absence of sound, but as a powerful presence that speaks volumes, the key to lasting and meaningful impact may well lie in your ability to be an enigma, a mystery that everyone wants to unravel. As we conclude our journey, you have explored advanced techniques of psychology and stoicism, discovering the power of self-esteem and authenticity. These teachings, blending ancient wisdom and modern insights, become tools for personal growth and social influence. Now, we invite you to apply these strategies in your life, promoting significant changes and taking on a leadership role. Each interaction of yours expands your commitment to personal development and inspires change.
We encourage you to share your experiences, becoming an agent of change. Are you ready to move forward? Your participation is crucial for growth and positive impact. Join us on this adventure of discoveries and transformations, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. See you soon.